Hey everyone, welcome back to another bonus episode for this Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Remix Let's Play that is on the Silver League Network that you should go check out if you're just a random passerby or looking at this Let's Play bonus episode with uh, my name, Mir Cardneko. I'm Rocky Mogashin, and when you said passerby, the only thing that popped in my head was Street Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, but yeah. We're here doing more optional bosses. So one of them is actually here in the Olympus Coliseum. Uh, not that platinum match. That that match we're gonna save for... Uh, who knows how long, but... We're going for this question mark. Platinum match, that guy is dangerous. Even more dangerous than the thing we're gonna be fighting now. And of course we're going solo on this, because why not? I mean, one person could take down this thing all by them all by themselves, right? We literally have Attack on Titan right now. And gosh, I'm sorry, but I I made the pun. <laughs> Who's ready to spread the Attack on Titan hate in the comments? Well, meet the Ice Titan, probably one of my favorite boss designs in Kingdom Hearts. This yeah. thing... Oh, go ahead. No pun intended. It looks freaking cool. <laughs> uh, are we gonna have all ice puns now? <laughs> or s or um, snow puns during this? I mean, sadly, I can't really make any of them anymore because I'm no longer the ice type team leader for the Silver League. Oh, wait, you're not? No, I retired. My I spot. Wait, then who has it now? Man. Oh, I thought that was a joke! No. That he wrote Ice Type Jim in his thing. I thought that I didn't think that was serious. I thought it was a joke. Because he loves Weavile. I thought I seriously thought that was a joke. Gosh darn it. It was never it was never a joke. It is 100 percent official. Oh my gosh. Ben, I'm sorry. Ben Weavile Ben, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Oh gosh. Uh, oh god. Neko derped. Neko derped hard. <laughs> but yeah, I was gonna say, like, I was actually gonna make the joke that you would love this boss because you're the ice gym leader. Now I can't make that joke anymore, gosh darn it, now I'm unprepared! I am the ex-ice gym leader, so it would still count. Mm -hmm. Alright, so beating this guy requires a lot of patience and dodging and waiting for the opportune moment to block his ice spears. Not those. Those won't attack him if you block them. Man, yep. I'm glad I did not get front row seats for this. I know, right? <laughs> no one should be selling seats to this, okay. Oh no, those weren't the right ones either. And why are there actually seats for this Coliseum then anyway? Like, what in the world, Phil? I know, right? I wish he would throw the little icicle spears at us right now. At us right now. My English is bad. Oh, come on! Throw me the other ones! And yeah, I will admit, guys, I did practice this bonus fight. Because... I never was able to do it in the Kingdom Hearts 2 version, the PlayStation 2 version. So, I, I needed to at least attempt to do this before I actually... Oh God, gosh darn it, why is he taking such a long time to throw the little icicle spears? Finally! And I didn't get to hit a single one. Okay, good. See, mostly what you do for this boss is you run away until he throws, like, these little... Until he get, be, be, decides to be nice and throw those little spear things at you. Ice Titan, come on, use Ice Shard. <laughs> this literally is Ice Shard. The big ones are Icicle Spears. 
the, um, actually no, the ones coming out of the ground would be ice cold spears, the ones that he throws in would be ice cold crash, and the small ones are ice shards. Yeah. What's his fourth move? I, um, frost breath, probably? You'll see why when we get that low, when we get his HP that low. Ooh, okay, good. I'm getting better at it. Man, if only Solar had the ability to fix that. I know, right? Well, I got an item called Shiva Belt that's supposed to lower the damage from ice by like 40%, so. Can we count that as Big Fat? Uh, sure. Or a, a, a poor man's version of Thick Fat? Thick, thick, oh god damn it. Thick Fat. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> You're like, whatever floats your boat, Neko. I, I still love my, I still love my ice type counter. It's my uh, physically defensive Thick Fat do it again, Azumaru. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, that's my counter to ice. Is my do it again, Azumaru. That's Thick Fat instead of Sap Zipper. Really? I never battled that Azumarill. That's because I don't use that Azumarill much. It's more just for fun. And if I feel like just going like, do it again, do it again. Oh, there's it, this Frost there. Breath. Ah, Frost Breath. Of course, there's more crap to watch out for now. I feel like that now, if he had an ability, it would be, um, increases the power of all ice-type moves if he only has ice-type moves. <laughs> yeah. Although I don't think a Pokémon would ever truly have just attacks of their type. That, that would be- ability like that. That would be suicide to- I feel like that would be suicide to the Pokémon to do that to them. Eh, I've seen it happen before. Oh, normalize. Who, who thought that was a good idea? Well, not just normalize, actually. Um, I've seen a four ice type move Mamoswine. Oh, wow. And that one's part ground. Didn't, yeah, it didn't have Earthquake at all, which confused me so much. <laughs> well, poor Mamoswine. That, that, you can't even counter its fire weakness. Uh-huh. Stop with the big spears, I want the little ones. No! Oh, you, you throw them at the wrong time. Throw them he at me the when right I'm... time for him. <laughs> throw them at me when I'm not, when I'm not dodging. Gosh darn it. What do you call the, the the attack that he's throwing when the ice balls come crashing down on you? Um, that's Ice Cold Crash 2.0. <laughs> no ice, know. no ice spear or something like that. The only the only move that would be like that is Ice Ball, and that move sucks. <laughs> yeah, that move does suck. Come on, shoot me the little ones. Gosh darn it! How much ice do you have? All the ice. He is made out of ice, after all. I know, but still. Come on. I want the little ones. Not the big ones. The little ones. No, not your frost breath either. I mean, honestly, if if you were putting common sense into this boss, you just have to throw a a uh, fireball at his spinal cord, and then he would just fall down, crashing, and shatter. That would be too easy, though. And if there's video, something video games try not to do is make things easy for you. Or, or have logic. Huh. As we've talked with Gem about. I mean, if you want a game that has no logic, look at Arthur's Wrath. He 
game is so stupidly awesome. <laughs> I've never heard of that game and never played it. It's basically you beat up, you beat up, you. Well, I haven't played the game. I haven't played the game really. I've only seen videos of it. Um, but basically, what you do is you progress through the game by building up Osiris Rack. <laughs> and wow. to build up Osiris Rack, you just beat up enemies. You just beat up the bosses. And yeah, um, the first boss though, it um, you end the boss by six arm punching his meteor sized finger and killing him. Yeah, you ma you machamp him. You machamp him times one point five <laughs> <laughs> because he has six arms. Oh, come on. I need more of those little things. But yeah, the, the first boss's final move is he grows to the size of the Earth and decides to try an atomic poke. Oh my god. Okay, good. He decides... The first boss decides to do a, a uh, meteor-sized finger poke. Ha. <laughs> On the main character. Is that almost as dumb as the Star Fox? The Anthem's head for Star Fox? Mm -hmm. I don't think I've seen that. For you, Star Fox. Wait, in Star Fox 64. That battle is really just mostly him and his head. Until a certain point and then it becomes just a brain. If you play the harder version. Oh, I've never actually played Star Fox 64. Well, actually no, I have played Star Fox 64. I never made it past the first level. Oh. No, that was me too. I, I just watched my brother play. Almost- Oh god, no, 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 get out of there. Oh, what's that, that what's attack with his hands? Today? What's that uh, attack with his hands? Nice punch. <laughs> no, but he doesn't punch you. Close enough. Ah! That's not a punch! Um, fine, Ice Beam. Okay, fine. I'll accept that. Ice Beam fired out of his hands. Run, run. This boss really is just... Play the waiting game. Just wait for the opportune moment when you can hit back the small ice cubes! Get it! Stay away from me! No. I don't even think fire magic would reach him. Ooh, good, 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 good. Get over there, Sora. Oh, he got up quickly. Alright, I'm wasting an elixir. Well, he's getting there. Oh gosh, big ice cubes. I wonder if he only shoots those big ones because I have arrow up. And arrow would make it too simple for you to push them back. The smaller ones. I'm gonna see. Because we got like so many little ones in a row and now these big ones come back. I don't know, maybe he you knows it's just few tiles. Stop yeah, look, the now ones. they're back. That might be an actual thing. I don't know. It doesn't say anything on the strategy guide because there is just doesn't even say a strategy for it, but just says how to unlock it. Oh really? Yeah. I looked up all the secret bosses. Oh okay. And for every other boss except for this guy and the other uh cup boss. Um it shows it says like a strategy for it. Oh okay. Oh, no, 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 not the cross breath. 
Again, Ben, we vile Ben, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You, you, if you're ever, if you ever watch this, I'm so sorry. It's funny because I actually need the ice badge, so I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. Because I was waiting right. for us to Never have a rematch. I was waiting for us to have a rematch again, and then it just like, I saw his thing, and then I was like, I thought it was a joke. Gosh darn it, I'm sorry, Ben. Well, we beat the ice titan. Yay! There's your ice badge. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do I get a free ice badge for me again? Nah. <laughs> what the? What? I puny? Stefan, I'm Sora. <laughs> Boot to the head. Run away! Take that! I'm melting! <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make that joke, but he doesn't actually melt. Oh, and this is an op uh, keyblade that, that you get in the 1.5 remix. Just diamond dust. Uh huh. So, let's save here. And with that, guys, another bonus boss is done and out of the way. Hopefully, this more is more balloons, more fireworks. And what it was in one try. And it's another one that was done in one try. Oh, uh, what it? we have this time? Um... Rainbows. <laughs> Rainbows, balloons, and fireworks. Gosh darn it, Roki's uh, pushing the limits on my editing skills. Well, I mean... We could also use the tap that dancing skeleton going from left to right. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Alright. So that's it for this episode. I The Ice Titan episode, but... We've got... There's two more optional bosses left, and one I think I can do, and then the other one I might have to train more before I take him on, and you'll see why when we get to him. But until the next bonus fight, this is Mirakarneko. Okay, Makashin. And have a good night, everyone. <laughs>